Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna go through that algae project. So the details I'm gonna go through are basically just some of the steps I'm gonna take. Now for starters, I'm gonna go through how this system's gonna work and explaining a little bit how we're gonna get the CO2 into the algae and how the oxygen's gonna come out. So we'll go through that in a minute. I'm gonna run through how I'm gonna connect this system up and actually set this whole system up. How I'm going to set up all the timers, the power, where I'm gonna source the algae from. We're also gonna go through how I'm gonna record all the data and also any photos that we take along the way. And I'm also gonna go through any of the videos that I'm going to make prior to actually doing this system because there's going to be a few other things that we're going to go through in order to actually get this system underway. So stick around with me because I want to go through and explain what we're doing first so that way down the track you understand why I'm putting out certain videos and also why it might be taking a little bit of time to get through all this stuff. Alright, so I don't want to go into a massive detail when it comes to the science behind this, but as you can see, the microalgae cells are extracting the carbon dioxide from the air that's injected into the water also soaking up some of the nutrients in the water and then the oxygen is released without that carbon dioxide and then we also have those byproducts that you can see on the side and also those sugars and proteins the science behind this is actually backed up in a lot of studies and you can also read up on how they've actually got one of these systems that's installed on the international space station to help with filtering their air as well there are also systems out there at the moment that are being installed and tested worldwide where they're trying to do a similar type of concept just on bigger scales than what I'm trying to accomplish. There's a few different ways of doing it. Most of the popular ones are either having these lakes or dams full of the algae or they're having the algae that's pumped through these pipes that are installed on things like freeways or highways to try and reduce some of the CO2, especially from the output from things like the cars where it's more concentrated. All right, so how I'm going to build this system, I'm going to place outside in the backyard plastic tubes, which I'm going to fill with water, but I'm making sure that the tube is suitable to be outside in the sun. Once I fill that with water, I'm going to install a air bubbling stone, uh, which you can get from aquarium stores. I'm going to connect the air pipe through to an air pump, which I'm going to then switch on and then we'll have that air bubbling throughout the tube. Now I'm going to replicate this in four identical setups, which will then be connected to the air pump and all have the exact same airflow. This will make for consistent results across the, all the tests. Now what we have to do is add in a sample of algae across a few of the containers. Now what I'm going to do is get a pond sample from a colleague at work and another colleague at work has also offered me some algae from his fish tank. Now I've also got some stagnant water in the backyard that I'm going to put in another and then the other one is going to be plain tap water. With these samples they're also going to be mixed with tap water which I'm going to bubble for a week across all of them. That will get all of the chlorine that's inside the water out because the chlorine will kill the algae so we don't want that. So I'll make sure that I'll do that bubbling of the water first before I add the samples. So now that the algae is added, we're going to run the pumps for a while and over time we'll start to see the algae take over in those tubes and it'll start to then go green. And now what I'm going to do is also get a Raspberry Pi connected up to a web camera so I can take a time lapse of the algae actually taking over. One of the other things we'll do is add in some sensors and those sensors will be able to detect the amount of the oxygen that's actually coming out of those each of those tubes. We'll record that on the Raspberry Pi and we'll also do some other tests like temperatures and such and compare them at the end of this whole test. At the moment, I'm just gonna run the air pump off the mains power, but down the track, I'm thinking we'll put in a solar panel or something, and that way we're not actually offsetting any of our CO2 emissions that we're pulling out in the algae by running the system. And then as I was going through all this, I did find that there was more things that I probably want to add like temperature, temperature in the water to the logging results. So we'll go through that as we go through. 
So when it comes to the amount of videos I'll be creating, as you can see, I've got a list of different things that I want to put together. Now, I'm not necessarily going to do all these videos in this order. Basically, I'm just going to go through and that way explaining to everyone how to set up each of these things. Now, there may be more things that I haven't put on this list that I have forgot about. And if you guys think of anything that you might want to see in there as well, just let me know in the comments. All right, so hopefully that gives you a bit more understanding of what we're doing now and what's going to be coming out in the future in regards to videos and such, how this system's going to work. But if you always have any questions, you can always drop them below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so that I can keep you up to date with how this project's going. Hit the like, watch some other videos, do all that stuff. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.